Too soon a woman, by Dorothy M. Johnson. Happiness depends on being free, and freedom depends on being courageous. This story is about an 11-year-old boy who traveled far away from home to the mountains with his father and his two little sisters. They were going to where the father thought he had an old uncle who owned a two-bit sawmill. On the way, they met Mary. Who ran away from somewhere and said she would not tell. The father didn't want her along, but she insisted to go with them and take care of the little girl. In the mountains, it was rainy all the time. On their way, they came to an old empty cabin. The father said they have to stop because their horse was tired and worn out. They had very little amount of food left. The father asks Mary to take care of his children because he will go to search for his uncle and come back in about four days. He left with one blanket and his rifle. The third night, a bear scared the horse away. The fourth day, they were out of food and the father didn't return yet. The fifth day, Mary went out to search for the horse. She returned at night, but she didn't have the horse. Instead. She had a big mushroom. She said they could eat it. But the boy said that mushrooms are poisonous. She ignored him and started cooking a slice of the mushroom. She said she would not give them any until the next day. Mary did that so if the mushroom was poisonous, she would be the only one to die. Mary and the boy waited for the poison to affect Mary. She told the boy that if she died. He has to take care of his children until his father returned. By dawn, nothing happened, so they knew that the mushroom was not poisonous. Then the boy and his sister feasted on the mushroom, but Mary didn't eat any. It was a strange day at the cabin. Mary laughed and played games with the children until the afternoon, when they heard a shout and, in the clearing, they saw their father coming out. Of the woods with horses packed with rations, he glanced at the children anxiously and demanded, "Where is the other one?" At that moment, Mary came out of the cabin and the sun shone over her. And the little boy thought, "My stepmother is a wonderful woman."